pussy and I like the trees. Smoke so much weed. Da -da 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 -da. It's the motherfucking Eagle Double G. Snoop Dogg. The tobacco was amazing, by the way. It's pretty good stuff. But I'm just. Uh, Can I have a little bit more tobacco? Yes, for sure. In the goddamn fucking Senate! That's a conspiracy theory! That's a conspiracy theory! You think you're fucking tough, you're about to get it! Bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> They're killing already born babies! Stop fucking lying! God fucking damn! I'm getting pissed now. Don't get pissed. Go no! I mean, you okay. saw the. Mate, chill out. Why are you so angry? What the hell? Guys, welcome to another video. I'm Lucy21, I'm your host, and we're in for a funny video today. Alex Jones, the legend, the whatever you want to call him, the crazy guy, uh, whatever you think, make what you will of this video. Um, enjoy. <laughs> or don't, I don't know. <laughs> Anything that you really want in life is always really f***ing hard to get, and, and YouTube is mm. no different. So the hurdle's a little bit higher now, but the opportunity is still there. And I end this... So yeah, Alex Jones, he's known for saying that the Sandy Hook shooting was fake. Um, he did go back on that statement and realised that the anomalies he did in his research were false. Um, it did cause a lot of people to knock on the doors of grieving parents uh, to, in search of proof that it was fake. Of course it wasn't. Um, a lot of people hate him, a lot of people feel the opposite way. Um, I saw him on this Joe Rogan podcast and I just wanted to get his, see his point of view really, um, see what he's all about. Uh, podcast is the best place for that really. Um, it gets all, all the honesty out there. He is a weird guy, I kid you not. And I don't know what they were smoking on that show, but it definitely was not tobacco. Uh, what was I talking about? I don't know. I mean, what the fuck we've done, man. Um, what? Like what? Like we should talk about a lot of things. A lot of notes I have here. Oh. Uh, <sighs> Tobacco was amazing, by the way. It's pretty good stuff. But I'm just. Uh, Can I have a little bit more tobacco? Yes, for sure. From the one to the three, I like the pussy and I like the trees. Smoke so much weed. Da -da 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 -da. It's the motherfucking Eagle Double G. Snoop Dogg! Alex, I don't know how much I can say here, Joe. Joe, try this. Alex, interdimensional child monsters are running the planet. So let me tell you what's really going on. I'm God. I'm already God. I've achieved Godhood. God knows everything except where God came from. I'm kind of retarded. <laughs> In that. And you can't tell if they are laughing with you or at you. Literally, that is the face you will pull. Good old Alex Jones, always speaking his mind. It was a little beef, it was a bit of an Alex Jones versus Joe Rogan, um, but they made up on the podcast, made peace, and they did this four hour and a half podcast. Um, but yeah, before it, it was like, they were a bit kind of at war. Uh, the media was saying anyway, but they're the best of friends, and have been since the early 90s. Um, I'll get into the more um, details later on. Um, but yeah, he's the the guy behind Infowars, if you're not already familiar. I mean, his show was, it was on YouTube. I uh, got banned because the, the, thing, the liberal things he was saying, really, in some ways. Um, some people consider him more right-wing, but I don't know, he's just one of them... And like, when everything's clear, it's like... Like, just seriously... Not serious guy, but he's just funny, but like, he doesn't realise how funny he is. Anyway, here's Dr. Phil trying to fix Alex Jones. If you even can, if that is even possible.
They have human-animal hybrids 30 years ago. They've got giant human tissue farms. And that's where you lose me. Bullshit! Seriously? That's it right there. You, every time I bring up a fucking subject, you know all about it! Well, you know, I don't know. I mean, 25 years ago that they had human-animal embryos, but they killed them at the embryonic level. Man, you need to go back to the No, board. no, no. I believe it happened. Stop saying I said it's it didn't okay happen. It's okay to talk about it and not be ashamed of it. It's, it's okay. If you've got anxiety... You got PTSD, whatever. Hey, let's talk about it. Let's get help for it. Get it behind you and move on. To, to talk about 12 dimensions, 11 known, 12 being omnipresent, so we don't say it actually exists. Oh, God, who made this? It's so believable, though. It's like they're actually in the room, like, oh, my. Dr. Phil, though. Um, PewDiePie is a huge fan of his. He's always analyzing it, those crazy kids he has in his show. That he just sends to a ranch where they get rehabilitated somehow. I don't know. I'm going off topic here. But Alex Jones, <laughs> always standing his ground, never give in. <laughs> Crazy guy. Um, but yeah, on, it was four hours of just conspiracies that just freak you out. A lot of freaky stuff, some of it true, some of it really not true or hard to believe anyway. I don't know. I'm confused. I don't know what's real anymore. It's too many dimensions that he's talking about, bloody hell. <laughs> no, this, You're going to... No, listen. I, I don't don't have to shut up. up. The plan. You're going the to the ice wall. Listen, <laughs> he's the ambassador for Flat Earth. He's the ambassador. I just Where's go yeah, the ice wall. Forget astronauts. Go the guy that discovers pee, the Flat Earth, go the big pee. ice fields. Yeah, listen, that guy's going to be a This is what, this what we're going to do, Alex. Alex, this is what we're going to do. You the think Senate that voted real? Monday to keep it legal. Who would do that? Who Arnie would do that? Who would campaign for that's they the most fucking did it, that is the craziest and shit you ever. You can't fucking admit they're fucking killing Arnie more kids. <laughs> so you're telling me it isn't real when they had a fucking vote in the goddamn fucking Senate? That's, that's, a, the conspiracy that's a conspiracy theory. That's a conspiracy theory. You think just... you're fucking tough? You're about to get it. <laughs> Bullshit! <laughs> they're killing Arnie born babies. Stop fucking lying. God fucking damn it! I'm getting pissed now. Don't get pissed. Go no, pee. I mean, okay. you saw the... Dude, it's Pee-pee. going... You're fucking tough. You're about to get it. <laughs> My God. I mean, this conspiracy. It's just the other guest, Eddie Bravo, another friend of theirs, uh, just winding him up about the whole flat earth theory and then um, about the um, this uh, late-term abortion thing, which is actually true. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to get into it because it's, it's too, like, freaky and serious. But that was one thing that stuck with me through the whole thing. Just talking about this whole late term abortion, like post, post abortion, like post birth abortion. What the hell? And they're using, I don't know, body parts. Basically, it's disgusting. Uh, I won't get into that. I don't want to be another Alex Jones. I'm certainly not that crazy, am I? Am I? Am I crazy? On that level, no. I don't know. I don't know. You decide. It's not up to me, is it? If I'm crazy, I don't know. I'm. I'm a bit. Not normal, that's for sure. <laughs> My brother would agree. More than not, yeah, more than. Anyway, see what he's getting up to. But, yeah, I don't know whether whatever they were smoking, it did something to this guy. <laughs> Just needs to chill out. Yeah. Fucking with really, you. Hold Alex, 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 Alex
Okay. <laughs> I'm so happy we decided to do this podcast. I'm so happy. See how it turned out? <laughs> it's fucking amazing. Did they piss on your run? It's fucking amazing. You should have your job at 3 o'clock. It was good. Joe's just off his chair, cracking up, laughing. There's so many bits that they're going to use for sound bites and stuff. Just one bit where he just, he just goes, Joe, I'm kind of retarded. No. I'm kind of retarded. <laughs> In that. Oh, shit. All the stuff he comes out of is just really not of a sane mind. <laughs> no, no, no. That's going to be a sound bite. <laughs> they're going to put that to mariachi <laughs> music. Uh, no. Uh, uh, I might have to use Elon Musk flamethrower to light the next joint. <laughs> well, I want, I, 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 yes. Okay. There you go. No, but yeah, I don't no go weed up, for Alex But my Jones. gut's never wrong. We should talk about. A lot of things, a lot of notes I have here. Oh. Uh, <sighs> tobacco was amazing, by the way. It's pretty good stuff. But I'm just. Uh, Can I have a little bit more tobacco? Yes, for sure. 100%. It's the So let me tell you what's really going on. I'm God. I'm already God. I've achieved Godhood. We take this back to. Listen, man, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Okay. I've been pile drive. You somebody pile drived you? Mm -hmm. And what happened? Oh well, that explains it then. He's been pile drived. Dropped on your head. Okay, you're clearly not gonna be fine after that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get more give you some more facts behind this whole story. It's been funny, it's been fun. All, all the videos people made in response to it, all the memes and everything. It's gonna be so many more, I'm gonna keep looking out for them. Cause it, it's like, even without that, it was a funny interview. Some weird stuff that I, I didn't even know what he was talking about half the time. So yeah, I don't know about how true these articles are, um, but it's just a bit of a, like, uh, extra, context for you guys just so you know the full picture um so yeah it says that alex jones secret government program uses psychedelics to communicate with aliens well okay well he did say that and then moving on so just gonna read a bit of it i can read guys by the way <laughs> it always seems like i can't because i'm always trying to correct correct myself after i make mistakes Okay, so Joe Rogan got conspiracy theorist Alex Jones on his podcast this week, among other things. The pair talked about psychedelics and aliens. Buckle up, folks. Well, they didn't just talk about that, they talked about a lot of things, from Hillary Clinton to Donald Trump to abortions to flat earth theory. So, yeah, he's, he's wrong there. According to Alex Jones, Alex Jones, there's a deep state government program based in San Francisco through which rogue intelligence agents take massive doses of psychedelics like DMT and I'm not even going to bother reading that word in order to engage in intergalactic diplomacy what? the InfoWars host yeah, he hosts InfoWars that's his show if you don't really know he claims to have spoken to hundreds of people in the military and central intelligence agency CIA about clandestine operation okay yeah some some serious stuff that he's talking about okay moving on to the next bit so in San Francisco the breakaway rogue intelligence agencies have an alien base where they are legally communicating with intergalactic beings proof come on and they've got like a astronaut level people taking super hardcore levels of drugs going into meetings with these things that make making intergalactic deals Jones said and he's quoted here as saying I've known this a long time and I just don't think people are ready for it 
I, I don't know how, 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 what to say. Like, I, I think Joe was just confused the whole, the whole time. Like half of these things are just going over his, not going over his head. I mean, he's a clever guy, but it's just like, well, a lot to take in. So Rogan played devil's advocate for a bit, noting that everyone who's done a high dose of psychedelic drugs has had this experience. They have. Yeah, I mean, you had to play devil's advocate because, you know, it's just. It's too much for one brain. So, um, yeah. Of meeting seemingly, seemingly alien beings. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people probably have. And, and that's a fact. That the psychedel psychedelics do cause you to see weird things. That's it, basically. I, I don't know how much truth there is. You, you kind of don't want it to be true. Yeah, and here you can see there's loads of like different articles about the whole thing, different things he said, and sci-fi stories. Rogan nodded along, assuring Jones that, yeah, blah, blah, blah. So Alex Jones completely loses it. Again, during Marathon, Joe, jo, blah, blah, blah. Joe and Alex Jones squash beef. There you go. Alex Jones tells, tells Joe Rogan, George Soros, Owned what? 55 million. Owed 55 million. Offered 55 million. Wow. So that's threw me off. That's a lot of money. George Soros being the currency speculator who said the pound would crash. Not a fan of, of uh, Alex Jones. Alright, next bit. So where's the headline? So Alex Jones and Joe Rogan made peace with a bizarre podcast. They did, they did. So the cartoonish feud between conspiracy theorist Alex Jones and podcaster Joe Rogan outlined it, I'll, I'll get to that in a minute, has finally come to an end with Rogan having invited Jones onto his podcast as a gesture of goodwill. The two men are made amends privately, but the podcast being little more than another unhinged speech from Jones, who has enough energy to feverishly rant about aliens, artificial intelligence, Hillary Clinton, and almost five hours solid. Well, it was four and a half, but yeah. Celebrity feuds are usually soulless and manufactured as their pop song lyrics, but in, in the case of the podcaster, comedian Joe Rogan and professional lunatic Alex Jones, well, the spat is genius and too far amusing not to follow. The friendship between the two goes way back as far as the late 90s, which explains why Rogan invited Joe Jones on the podcast to spread his nonsense. They call it all nonsense. It's just crazy the way he says so many things that you can't possibly believe all of them. Um, so the result in Jones going on a prolonged inerrant rant about interdimensional child molesters. What? God, it's, it's too much. <laughs> uh, I want to end the reading there. Though there's a lot more, there's a lot more as you can see. But of course, I'm going to read this because this is key. Uh, the massive audience places Joe Rogan in a position of heavy responsibility as his laid-back, smoke-filled recording room has evolved into a powerful platform where unhinged individuals have the opportunity to spread their gospel. Well, they're not all deranged or unhinged or whatever you want to call them. I don't like this article, I'll be honest, guys. Remember, Alex Jones is the man who called the grieving parents of the Sandy Hook school shooting victims crisis actors and is currently entangled in a defamation lawsuit. He is, but he did re retract like what he said there. 
thank God, because that, that was why people were hating him so much. He is crazy, don't get me wrong. Alright, now, guys. Now we're going to watch a bit of, uh, like, a, a video of his someone put up on YouTube somehow. Because, obviously, his website is, uh, is where he uploads his videos, where all his videos are. So someone took it from there and put it on YouTube. Credit to them. Well done. We need to see more Alex Jones. Just because he's so funny. Find him funny. Some of the things. Especially with Joe, Joe Rogan, both of them together. It's just four hours of just weirdness. Lying to the public censoring in an incredible way. And I don't want to be enemies with YouTube. I don't want to be enemies with Google. But I saw the CEO, Sundar Pichai, a few months ago with my own eyeballs. I was there at the committee hearing say that they don't fix any of their results. They don't place any of their top news items on Google or YouTube. It's all an algorithm. Well, that's not true. Because out of the top 20 results, my interview with Joe Rogan, his podcast, one of the biggest he's ever done, should have been number four. I'm going to show you the actual numbers. Num I mean, you see what I'm saying? His argument is that they they did fix the uh, like the order of which the videos come out and trending on YouTube because the, you know there were other videos with less views that have been out for longer, and that one should have been at the top of the trending. And so technically, they're controlling that. That's what he's trying to say because it was a podcast that people should have seen. Some of the things he said were real. Number four this week, over six and a half million views. If you count all the other derivative clips, you're looking at another 10 million views or so. I'm gonna show you the numbers. And there are podcasts with 100,000 views in the last week. This is only four days old. So there are podcasts that have been up the whole week they only have 100,000 views that are on the list, but nowhere in the trending. Not even the top 20, top 30, top 40. Nowhere. You can go 100 pages deep is the Joe Rogan podcast. So what else are we not seeing? Because it's supposedly what we want to see. It's supposedly what the public is voting up, what the public is watching is what makes something trend. But if you look at YouTube and Twitter, they're both talking about taking the thumbs up away. Can't let you review. Netflix is talking about taking the stars away. What the public is voting up, what the public is watching, is what makes something trend. But if you look at YouTube and Twitter, they're both talking about taking the thumbs up away. Can't let you review. Netflix is talking about taking the stars away because you don't like leftist propaganda. Are you hearing this, guys? They're trying to take away the thumbs up button to take away freedom of, of, of opinion or speech, in this case. Whether that happens or not, I don't know, but imagine that, you know, comments make sense. They want to disable comments. Yeah, and what he's saying has actually got me thinking about the whole YouTube thing. A lot of people talk about this, on, a lot of YouTubers talk about this, and it's a common subject, you know. The comment section now has caused a lot of controversy because of these, like, potential, like, paedophiles are on, on YouTube in the comments. So they're trying to disable comments completely to stop anything like that. But and that, yeah, of course, you don't want that. You don't want that, do you? No, it's, it, it's not. It's not on taking the thumbs away, thumbs up button. And you've got no way of knowing what's good, or what's bad. You know, for me on my videos, thumbs up makes a difference. Then the thumbs down. And or so-called comedy. So they're trying to take your ability to say what you like and what you support away. So what's next? They're going to get rid of TripAdvisor? Are they going to get rid of all these other ratings agencies that are out there? This is because the people are voting for freedom. They're vo voting for real diversity. of Bombshell uh, info in closing. The last time I went on Joe's show, two years ago, it was his number one podcast up to that point. Then there's two more that eclipsed it, Elon Musk and one other. This newest one is said to be his number one podcast uh, yet again. Because people are hungry for the truth. But last time, iTunes would not list it. They would not show it. It was number one because Joe has internal algorithms. He's allowed to look at his account. 
But two years ago, they would not allow it to show in the trending. Well, they did here. The number one podcast in the last week is the Joe Rogan, Alex Jones returns. So this time, Apple uh, did not censor it, ladies and gentlemen. But they did not show it in other pages showing new and noteworthy or top uh, reports. They did not. And that's, that's it. That's been a long video. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're at the end. Um, yeah, YouTube, I don't know what you're doing. It, it's just a hard, it's a tough one, guys. And when you're on YouTube, it's stressful. Um, every time something comes out in the news or something, like the ads or anything, there's another ad apocalypse because of the very thing with the comments and stuff. But yeah, taking away the like button, no. Please don't. <laughs> It's like you need you need to voice your opinion, um, and like like Alex is saying here, um, they were kind of denying people the you know this this podcast, which is worth watching because it it's freedom of speech really. You know I mean there's a lot of bad people that were much worse people than him, criminals you know murderers that are allowed to speak and allowed to speak their mind, and there's documentaries about them on TV you know. History Channel, you've got stuff about certain dictators from history. Um, it's them voicing their opinion and their beliefs, and you're allowed to hear it, good or bad. Um, I mean, he's not he's not like he's murdered anyone or anything, but they're still trying to stop people hearing what he has to say, because he's a bit blunt, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I don't, when I make a video, I don't think about... Uh, that kind of thing, like I'm just speaking my mind um, with it within reason. I, I don't get really political, I'm not that political as a person. Though I might have to watch more of his stuff. That doesn't make me crazy, guys. Just to see a different point of view on things, a strange point of view. Don't get me wrong, but um, I gotta end it there, guys, because this is just some of the things you talk about just stress me out, it freaks me out as well. It freaked Joe Rogan out. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you well, if you haven't, do see the podcast, or if you can bear to, I don't know, because some people just can't, couldn't sit still for that long. I, I, it took me like four or five days to watch it all. Anyway, guys, I'm Louise Twenty One, also known as John Luca Louise. I've been your host for a video all about Alex Jones and his recent podcast on the on Joe Rogan's what his recent interview with Joe Rogan on the podcast. Well, that still doesn't make sense. You know what I mean, anyway. He returned to the podcast with Joe Rogan and they had a good old chat for four and a half hours and he got really angry and they had some funny times and some crazy times. But yeah, thank you guys. Remember, just keep doing what you're doing. Be you. Voice your opinion within reason. <laughs> you know, I talk about aliens all the time. Don't do psychedelics. <laughs> um, enjoy your evening, your morning, your day, your night, whatever time of day it is. Wherever you are in the world, I hope that this has helped you forget about your everyday boring stuff. Just for a bit, just for a little while. You've had a laugh, a cry, maybe some something in between. Or just some sort of emotion. Something. From this video. I thank you for joining me and I'll see you soon. Take it easy fam and as always peace. No easy 21 fam forever. Right, I just realized I have to turn this off, don't I? Bye. I'm kind of retarded. In the... In the goddamn fucking Senate! Anything that you really want in life is always really fucking hard to get, and, and YouTube is no different. So the hurdle's a little bit higher now, but the opportunity is still there.